According to information published by on September 13, 2023, a missile strike in Sevastopol targeted a shipyard, damaging two Russian military vessels undergoing repairs. The Russian Ministry of Defense confirmed the incident. According to representatives of the Russian Defense Department, the attack involved 10 cruise missiles and three surface drones. The Orjanikidze shipyard in Sevastopol sustained damage, leading to two Russian military vessels being compromised. There have been reports of two fatalities and 26 injuries, all of whom were shipyard employees. Satellite images suggest that the vessels in dry dock at the time of the incident were a Rapucha class, Project 775, landing ship and an improved Kilo class, Project 636.3, submarine. Unconfirmed sources indicate these vessels to be the landing ship Minsk and the submarine Rostov on Don. Photographs from the site seem to corroborate these claims, as one photo distinctly captures the silhouette of a Rapucha class landing ship. Judging from the photos, the ship sustained significant damage from the missile strike and subsequent fire. She suffered a major breach on the left side, likely resulting from a direct missile hit to its engine compartment. Given the nature and extent of the damage, along with the complexities involved in repairing vessels, it's probable that the vessel is beyond repair. The status of the other vessel, potentially the improved Kilo-class submarine, capable of carrying caliber cruise missiles previously used against Ukraine, remains uncertain. Considering the scale of the attack, it's noteworthy that the missiles were able to penetrate the robust layered air defense system that has long shielded Sevastopol Bay, given its strategic importance. Taking into account the specifics of the attack, it's speculated that the missiles might be the stealthy Franco-British scalp storm shadow cruise missiles. These air-launched missiles are known to be deployed from modified Ukrainian Su-24M bombers.